What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the NG Models September 2023 releases. Hints are coming out here on Labor Day, so happy Labor Day to everyone watching this video on Labor Day. So let's go ahead and take a look at the hints. In total, we have four 737 800s, two 737 Max 8s, two 747SPs, one 747 8, one 777 three 777 300 ERs, one 787 9, three 787-10s, two 8319s, one 8321, one 8330-700s, that's going to be a beluga, three 8330s, two 8350s, two Tupolev 154s, and two Tupolev 204-214s. So I counted up everything that they have in the hint section, and there are a total of 30 planned releases this month. So down from what we had with the record breaker of 47 in August. So at least, you know, NG is acknowledging that their releases are too big and they're going to do less. But even still, I think that this is still pretty excessive for them. But nevertheless, we do have the releases out, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, as I record this, the September... Uh, releases have not been posted on their new releases page, so I have to dig through their website a little bit to find them. Um, they are in the database section, and they have it sorted a little bit weirdly here. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so I believe we do have a Tupolev TU-214. That looks to be our first release, as it's marked as coming soon, and is one of the Russia government ones, which I feel like they've done this before, but I could be wrong on that. We got a Tupolev 154B now. This is a, a Taram example, which looks really nice. I know that there's been a good handful of people that have wanted that. And then we have another, um, oh, this is uh, Eric Cordio. Um, you see the North Korea flag there, the red star on there and everything, and the blue stripes. So pretty cool airline, um, at least, you know, just kind of for that, because they operated all these old Soviet aircraft, and they still have some of them today. Another Finnair A350-900, this is a, um, looks like a Happy Holiday sticker, and yep, it is. And I believe we do have two of them here, which we do, so just different registrations. So at least in the order that I'm going here on the website, uh, Whiskey Delta is first, and then Whiskey Echo is the other one. And then we have the Airbus Beluga XL, the E330-700, um, also has a special sticker, also flying outsized cargo to your destination, which they never fly them here to the States. Kind of wish they did, but... All right, continuing on, we have a Garuda Indonesia Cargo A330-300. Um, did not realize that these things existed, but that looks pretty interesting. Perhaps they're just kind of like converted cargo freighters or whatever. They didn't remove the passenger windows. And then there's a second one up here, too, just with a different registration. Continuing on, we have an A330-200 of BOA, um, as I'm going to call them here. So I think this is from Bolivia based off the airline name. I don't know too much about them, so I can't say too much. And then jumping over to the next page, we have another Spirit A321, which I know they did one a few years ago. Uh, this is in 2020, and I still have that release. Um, but nice to see that NG is still doing some Spirit aircraft. Hopefully they'll do more U.S. narrow bodies at some point because there's been quite the demand for them from NG. And we have a Tiger Air Airbus A319, so this will please at least a good handful of collectors from that respective area uh, from Singapore. And then here we have a Fly Scoot A319. Um, the Scoot A319, I believe this is a Tiger Air hybrid based off the tail because that's the same tail as on the Tiger Air aircraft. And I'm not sure what this is here. Okay, this is the Eco Demonstrator Explorer uh, Boeing 787-10. This does not look like a really good livery, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, uh, that's kind of NG's new norm with all these weird liveries that they're doing. But here's a good one right here, the Saudi S787-10 retro livery. I believe there's now a good handful of, of Saudi aircraft that are equipped with this retro livery, and this 787-10 is the newest edition that I know of so far. So pretty cool that they have that, and hopefully I'll be able to spot that one day. And then over here we have an ANA Star Alliance. 787-9, uh, not a regular livery. And then moving up, we got some more 777. So we have a Turkish 777 300ER. This is a regular livery, so thank goodness for that. Nice change from what we've had in this release already. 
And then we have another one to follow as well, just with a different registration and aircraft name. And then this one right here should be popular for U.S. collectors, the United 777-300ER in the Continental Globe livery. So this has the new Spirit of United titles, which are just underneath the cop and windows. You can kind of see a little blue smudge there. Uh, that's where those titles are at. And the registration is November 2331 Uniform. And I think this was their first 777-300 that they got a few years ago now. We have a British Airways 777-200ER with the official airline of the England football team sticker. Uh, this one is equipped with Trent 800 engines <laughs> for some reason. And I should clarify that the Trent 800s, those are accurate to the real thing. I just checked it just to confirm. Let's take a look here. Oh, this is interesting. Australia Asia 747 SP. So this is not Qantas. A bit surprising there. Um, this is the basically the basic Qantas mid-1980s livery, as NG puts it on their website. Then there is a second one as well, just with a different registration and aircraft name. And then we have ourselves a Malaysia Airlines 737 MAX 8, the first of the type for uh, Malaysia. And then we have another MAX 8 up here. This is a uh, Xiamen Air in support of the UN colors. I think uh, NG calls it UN Dream, so that's just how they do it. And then here we have New Mexico 1, so this should be another popular release as well. Now, for me with the state liveries, I'm not planning to get them on, on the 800s because... As I was trying to hunt down all the uh, state liveries back when they were on the 737-700s, as soon as I got into the mojo of getting them all, they all began to get repainted onto the 800s. So I just said, screw it. I'm not going to try and hunt down the state liveries anymore. But nevertheless, I'm not declining the fact that that will be a popular release. And then here we have a China United 737-800. Um, don't know too much about this. This is the Mongolia... Um, Denudata Welcome Standard Livery. I'm not sure what that means. And we have an Aerolinus Argentinas Cargo 737-800. And I'd hope that the next one, okay, this is a passenger one, so you have that choice in this case. And then we have ourselves another Tupolev Tu-214 to round things out. And I believe this is just has a couple different markings on here, which um, compared to the first one, um, I know at least the marking on the tail is different because that one had the Russian flag and then this one has a different marking. I do want to mention as well that NG did announce that 747-8, which was the Atlas Air primer uh, livery, so the one that's in the factory, uh, they also announced that, but for some reason it was not listed in the uh, release list for September. So that's why you didn't see it there initially as I was recording the video. And there we go, that is everything with this release. Not necessarily the most remarkable set in the world um, because NG always does these big sets. So this is pretty typical for them. And obviously with the different choices that they have, you know, releasing multiple the same plane, just with different markings or registrations or aircraft names, what, what have you, um, this, I would say this is a pretty typical release for NG. So I probably won't be getting anything out of this set just because nothing really interests me and whatever I whatever does interest me, I already have, like that Spirit A321, for instance. Uh, United 333, I definitely would have preferred if they had done an Evil Blue in that case, but hopefully um, some people will still like the fact that it is the uh, Continental Globe livery instead of Evo. New Mexico 1 will be popular as well, uh, but again, as I said, I'm not going to try and hunt down the state liveries anymore because I have a feeling that by the time I do get all of them, they're going to be repainted on the maxes, which I don't know how long that's going to be, but I just have that gut feeling in me. And then plenty of Soviet aircraft with the Tupolevs, so we got a good handful this month, so that's a nice change. And I just want to note, too, the Tehran aircraft has anti-glare coating. I think that's the little black... Um, the little black thing just underneath the cockpit windows. And then the Finnery 350s, pretty typical, you know, I can't really say too much else about this release. So this is a pretty typical set nonetheless, and I'll definitely be saving up. So with that being said, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.